Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Welcome back yet again. Yes, in this video, we are basically just kind of concluding a, a line of thought a little bit. On the last video that we were doing up on Evolutionary, this will go up on Evolutionary 2. And so you see this. Onward Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before ye. You know, you could also think about Constantine, the emperor, the Roman emperor, and he had this vision and he, he saw like a shining light like the sun, but it wasn't the sun as in the sun S-U-N. It was the son of God and it was the cross and conquer under this sign, conquer. The reality is, again, if, if you actually listen to the words of what, and the words again, only some of the words that they give us, Remember, there was 200 plus Gospels before the, the Catholic Church uh, determined that they were only going to use four. And there were many, many books, many, many different opinions on the mission of Yeshua and so many different books attributed to different authors of which had biblical significance, yet they themselves didn't actually write them. They were just attributed to them. And so when we look to his words, and, and again, look at the Beatitudes, how beautiful that is. You know, uh, that whole thought about the meek inheriting the world. Well, you know, soldiers, you know, meek soldiers don't inherit anything, do they? Or do they? So, you know, when you, when you look towards the obvious <clears throat> inconsistencies, incongruities uh, between turning the other cheek and marching off to war, got to ask yourself, you know, do we need to be looking a little bit deeper into what is really going on here? Again, if Satan, the adversary, has led the whole world astray, it's pretty obvious that the main belief systems of the world are going to be Satan's belief systems. It's only <laughs> simple deductive reasoning. Well, Satan is doing a very good job because he has so many people are leading and you know if you just look at the vocabulary words and you switch them around a little bit you understand if you put the right vocabularies where they rightfully belong these words then you start to see the truth but right now yeah i mean all the mainstream belief systems satan is he's doing his job so after muhammad's uh revelations his encounters etc etc and the, the spread of Islam, which did happen rapidly, as you can see here, uh, that sandy yellowish color is Islam lands, Muslim lands, and green is Christian lands. And we're looking at a map of the Crusades, 1096 to 1204. You can see you know, most of Spain was under Islamic control. And Turkey was shifting from being a Christian, quote-unquote, nation to uh, what will be an Islamic uh, empire, absolutely, and, and eventually, again, turn into the Ottoman Empire. And you see the Byzantine Empire there, and the Holy Roman em Empire still hanging on up there, centered where? In Germany. Remember, the German barbarians are the ones that came knocking on the gates and, and led to the fall of Rome. Or did it really fall? No, again, you know, the power structure just morphs and it changes. It, it utilizes religions just as a simple tool. Yeah, again, we, we will come to the realization in the very near future, actually, that our whole religious belief systems that we've been given for the most part, are contaminated and or manufactured literally by the control system that's been in place for thousands of years. What this did was, well, it, there were multiple reasonings behind these nonstop wars, but, and this was, again, uh, massive, massive warfare of a religious nature. And so you see, you had different crusades, 1095, the popular crusades, bands of poor people, no equipment, 1097, the first crusade, highly organized, 100,000 soldiers stormed Jerusalem in 1099, slaughtered the citizens, the blood of the enemy flowed as high as our horses' knees, the dead were piled like the pyramids, 20,000 Christian soldiers were left to occupy and build crusader castles. As you see, these different 
kingdoms that that arised and and of course all kingdoms you know they eventually they fall <laughs> it's, it's just the very nature of it one thing that does happen with war is well pestilence and plague so bubonic plague was brought back it's so interesting to see now it's obvious obviously if people are not tending the fields you might end up with famine if everybody's fighting and, and burning down everybody else's fields and killing their cows and stealing, you know, in the, the, in the name of God. Yes, yes. This is the part that we have to get across because, again, uh, humanity has been drinking the Kool-Aid for far too long. It, God, in the name of God, that is, it, it's nothing but an excuse, plain and simple. But it works. It works by the control system. So, you know, again, this pestilence, and it's really interesting, too, because when you look into individual accounts of pestilence, yeah, dead bodies, rotting, you could understand there, there could be uh, absolutely a, a big increase in pestilence. But a lot of times, too, there were funny clouds in the sky, funny clouds in the sky, funny signs as well, odd, ominous signs that people took as, uh, well, again, a message from God. And we saw all sorts of atrocities. This is actually a depiction. While the Christians and the Muslims were, were fighting, uh, this was a group of Jews that were burned alive. Again, horrors, the horrors of war. War brings an opportunity to truly demonic forces to do things that, uh, you know, for the most part, don't necessarily well most people are trying to just save their lives so how are they gonna again take account of every little act of violence when you have violence on this scale going on you think of jihad again holy war there is no holy war war is never holy and this this was again these were two incidents on friday you know jihad friday where people were uh, attacked and in the case on the left, uh, a school teacher was killed. He tried to defend himself with a, a chair, and they were screaming "Allahu Akbar." I'll tell you, it, every "Allahu Akbar" that goes off is feeding demonic forces. Because what are we really saying? If if you followed the last video, Allah is really coming from the word El Eloa. And that's denoting the Elohim, which is denoting the mighty ones that came from the sky. It's again, it's denoting this, the Anunnaki. You know, when you say Anunnaki, you get that wiki. This is why. Islam will dominate the world. Well, demographics would say that would be the case. But at the same time, we understand there's a bigger, bigger plan at, at, at foot here to have a world that has a far less number of people going on. I just want to get across every quote-unquote holy war, every every Allahu Akbar, or Christians marching off, you know, to fight as Christian soldiers, which in itself is really an oxymoron when you look to the teachings of Yeshua. It, it truly is an oxymoron. What's it doing? It's feeding real demonic forces. These demonic forces have been depicted in many ways by many different cultures. You know, this is a, an Islamic depiction. Again, we've talked about the jinn. They are very real. They are very real. They're very, very dark. And they actually carry out the bidding of anybody that will feed them. And so the true uh, power structure of this world, the controllers of this world are constantly feeding the jinn who are constantly doing their will. And no one can ever tell me when we look at these controllers and these so-called leaders that they're not being led by demonic forces, yet they put their hand on the Bible and swear up and down all day long that they're going to do the right thing. Um, the 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 what we're seeing here this gin these things only live off of human energy they can only feed off of human energy and we did a video i don't know three or four days ago and when i was watching everything happen it was it was the secondary energy that was the most nauseating that was going on because these things right now are on a feeding frenzy from people hating on each other 
Um, it's just a world of hate and these things are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And as we were looking at things, we kind of realized and that there is, there is like head jinn. There's like these leader jinn that are leading the other jinn that are getting fed by <clears throat> the controllers because they're doing favors. So this is very much a back and forth. It's kind of sick symbiotic energy that we have going on right now. And because people are not willing or not able for various reasons to open their eyes, they're having a feeding frenzy. It's just continuing on and on and on. Absolutely. You know, and again, you know, people don't understand that their belief system has has clouded their minds and so you know the reality is so many people that are so terrified of dark demonic forces of you know the very thing that they're terrified of is what they're feeding with their belief system and and the thought that you're going off to war to serve your country no you're going off to war to be a sacrifice uh, a, a literal food source for dark entities. When you look at Baphomet, Baphomet is something that the dark control structure is feeding. Baphomet is AI as well. Baphomet's energy is a huge problem because now it has a chokehold on our children. And this is because over the over the years um the control system has made it seem to be safe to send your children to school at a younger and younger and younger age and pretty soon we have like two-year-olds three-year-olds going to pre-kindergarten and this is the control system making sure that they get their claws into them to indoctrinate them to make sure that they're going to end up ultimately serving the system there has been so many studies that are done you know looking at children uh, before school and realizing that 95 to 98 percent of them are sheer genius when it comes to resolving problems with their own abilities and their own thought processes and as the years go on the studies that reoccur are seeing say in in fifth grade that that number from 95 to 98 percent drops to about 75 percent then 50 percent and on and on in in school so they're actually turning our children not smart <laughs> i don't know how else to nicely say it but if you're able to homeschool my gosh, at least then you're able to sit with your child and explain the information in a way that um, you have the understanding because you have gone through the time and the energy to learn the truth of the matter. And you can spend that time with your child and it's bonding and it's pulling the family back together. In this control system, they've spent far too much time pulling the families apart and turning them against each other. Absolutely. Humanity has truly been purposely dumbed down. You know, fluoride in the water makes you more manageable, but it also uh, destroys the cognizant features of the brain. You know, our, our neurons <laughs> have been uh, purposely assailed so that they're not firing properly. And the signals that we are enmeshed in in the cities that are surrounded by the towers and the Wi-Fi and all that, it's all hurting our health and it's all creating this this mind-numbing fuzz that makes it hard to see things clearly. This is exactly a part of their plan. This uh, represents the Ida, the Pegala, and the Shashumna. It's stopped over here at the I Am Center, the solar plex, which is all about e ego. So this is showing that humanity will not be enlightened, basically. It's saying, no, you're not going to have a free flow of uh, the creative energy up to the pineal and up to the crown where you could connect to your higher self the pentagram point down is an inversion and, it, and again it's it's putting the physical uh primary over the spiritual side of things and we are spiritual beings when you look to the dyson sphere it's about harnessing the energy of a star and in fact our higher selves are stars 
And so they're they're harnessing the the energy of the soul while the soul's in the body, and they're using it to feed demonic entities. Everybody that's saying Allahu Akbar, they think they're saying God is great, but in reality, you're giving power to the Anunnaki and the draconian AI system that lies at the root of that. So, you know, this is just a big reveal. Whether you're you know, serving Yahweh or you're serving Allah, you're serving the system. You know, and you just put that into the sentence. Um, you're saying, uh, oh, great draconian beings. Oh, great Anunnaki. Oh, you guys are just wonderful. That's what the sentence is. Um, that's just how things are. And people really, it's not that they don't want to know the truth. Most people, honestly, they just don't have time. They're busy working probably 16, 20 hours a day, and they don't have time to go and dig deep. Therefore, they go in front of the TV. They listen to evangel evangelical people, and they're just spoon-fed these religion. And they get so adamant about protecting it. And some of the meanest comments I've seen are those who call themselves Christians. And it breaks my heart to even say that. But I think we need to say the truth. It's time that we get truthful. Absolutely. And again, yes, we believe there is a creator. It's not Allah and it's not Yahweh. No, it's not any of the Anunnaki's. It's none of the dark control system. It's not a jinn. Every little church spear, spear, spire is, is sending the energy. What people don't understand is they got this complete system set up to feed off of humanity in so many different levels. They are always feeding off of our emotions. This is uh, an absolute buffet that they've laid out before these dark entities with the war that is underway and the war that is to come. So again, don't feed the system. And, and you could basically, um, you could word things in different ways. Just recognize where you're giving power to. Because again, they've rewritten so many words to be just generic Lord and God. But if you said, you know, um, you know, the true creator of this universe, then you are saying something very different than those that take credit but are not the creators of this universe. So again, part of the awakening is realizing how we've been manipulated. We can all get along like these two kitties. We can all get along. It, it's the belief systems that divide us. You know, again, if you want to see the difference between belief systems, if it's a belief system that's saying that you were cr created to just simply be a slave, which is what we have in uh you know in islam really it's to submit to the will of allah which is again given to those that believe it through the word of muhammad and again you know who here in this day and age has actually met muhammad how do you know that is you get you're taking it as a leap of faith judge it by its fruits people really do want to uh, be their best and and you know you would view religion as a tool to be the best version of you but what it's been used for is creating diversion so again go deeper you could do things your own way you don't have to submit to anybody's will other than your own and again uh, just do it out of love and compassion and understand that there is a bigger unity we are all living on a planet as individual cells in something larger when we start to view everything from that perspective it will all change and then we'll have a true awakening mm -hmm. and they they use these these nice words and they say things like you know, you're here to serve God, and you no, know, you're. It, it, that's just a nice way of putting it. You're here to be a slave. We're not slaves. We all came here to help one another, to work with one another, to manifest, to create, co-create, and this is what we're here to do. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.